Welcome back to Mud Lake Ranch. Today we're here to talk to you about optics mounts on the Ruger 57. Um, the Ruger 57 comes optics ready, pre-drilled, but is ready for the Dr. Noblex, or Noblex, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, footprint. And the optic I wanted to mount is the Swamp Fox Kingslayer, which is an RMR. So scouring the internets, I found out that Galloway Precision offered an RMR optics mount so that I can pair my firearm with the optic that I wanted to use. So if you were shopping Shop Ruger or Amazon, you're only gonna find the doctor footprint. Um, and I looked around a bit and was pleased to find that this was under $30. Um, this is not a modification of the firearm. This is an accessory mount as it's intended for all the uh, YouTube moderators out there. Um, the firearm is pre-drilled, it is optics ready, um, and it is intended to be run with an optic. So we'll demonstrate installing this on this firearm and we'll see what kind of difference that makes in my accuracy going forward with the Ruger 5.7. All right, as you can see, the uh, Ruger 5.7 comes optics ready. It has two little plugs here that you'll have to unscrew and you want to keep those in a safe place. I like to keep around the Ziploc bags that I get from AR builds, and in this case, the Ziploc bag that uh, came with the mounting plate that has a peg hole already, so that I can label this, these uh, two plugs, so that if I ever need to put them back in, I have them ready to rock. You can either remove the slide to complete your assembly, or leave the gun intact. Um, you can work right on your bench, but I'm gonna use uh, my vise with these Otis soft vise jaws. They are a non-marring surface. They're magnetic so that they connect to the jaws of your vise. Knock that down so it's not going to move. And they are small, so they're gonna be easy to misplace. All right, your next step on this particular the optics plate, you're going to back these two screws out. These are what you're going to actually use to mount the optic, um, but they're screwed in enough that they're actually going to touch the firearm. So you have to back them out slightly uh, for your installation. You're going to use the rear screw for the rear mounting hole to line up with the rear hole on your rear 5.7. You're going to want to use some blue Loctite on the threads. Uh, I don't have any right now. Well, I have some, but I can't find it. So I'm going to install this for the video and uninstall it and reapply the, uh, the Loctite necessary to keep this thing from rattling apart on me. The flat top screw is on the far side. Please. That wasn't out far enough. Boom. Mm -hmm. All right, this Kingslayer optic I received from uh, Swamp Fox Optics. I met those folks at a couple of events so far. Um, I've had it out of the box just to see what's going, what we have in here. It does come with a lens cloth and it comes with um, a variety of tools that you'll need to install it, including this hex key, this uh, star key. Comes with a uh, optics mounting plate if you were to run this if you were to run this red dot on an AR-15, it comes already to rock with that, which was very tempting, but I really wanted to get something on this Ruger 5.7. So you'll see there's two raised spots there. Those line up with the holes in the optic. Gosh, right away, I'll do this left-handed to give you a better view. Swamp Fox optics, I said, you know, I said come with the uh, AR-15 or um, Picatinny rail style mounting plate, a cover for your optic tools. All right, 
And there we have it. It doesn't flash in real life. That's just the, the way the iPhone picks this up. So we got her powered up. Optic on, looking freaking awesome. So this is the Swamp Fox Kingslayer. Mounted on my Ruger 5.7. Um, join us at the range next time when we actually get to shoot this thing. Uh, that'll be coming up real soon.